there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and this month we are going to be celebrating Black History Month with some amazing stories from real life. Today we're going to hear a story about someone who's been making history since high school, over 40 years ago, and continues to make and change our history today, Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> You've probably heard of her. She's quite famous. But do you know why she's so famous? Let's find out together. Oprah was born in 1954 and spent her early childhood years on a farm in a little town in Mississippi with her grandmother. Her grandmother read to her and taught her to love books. Little Oprah was able to read at three years old. <gasps> Amazing! She played make-believe with her farm animal friends and liked to tell stories at church. But her grandmother became ill and at the age of six she had to leave the happy farm and join her mother in Milwaukee. Milwaukee was not such a happy place for Oprah. Her mother was very poor and had to work all the time and their neighborhood was dangerous and filled with bad influences. Between the ages of 6 and 16, Oprah lived off and on with her mother in Milwaukee and her father in Tennessee. When she was with her father in Tennessee, she felt happy and safe and discovered that she loved public speaking, telling stories to large groups of people. But in Milwaukee, she was terribly mistreated by some family members and turned to negative behavior choices, like stealing and skipping school. So at 16, she went to live with her father for good. He was strict. She had to complete extra assignments each week, write book reports, and learn five new vocabulary words every day before she could eat dinner. But he believed in her, that with hard work, she could do anything. And so, she believed in herself, too. She continued her public speaking at churches, school competitions, even the Elks Club, where she won the grand prize, a four-year scholarship to college. Wow! <laughs> Have you ever won a competition, a game, or a prize? Wow, it feels so good. And don't worry, if you haven't yet, you will. Even before graduating high school, she won a part-time job at a local radio station as a journalist, researching and writing stories for the news. And then, during college, she was offered the job of a lifetime, reading the news on TV for the CBS channel in Nashville. She was the first ever female African-American news anchor in the city of Nashville. <laughs> See, I told you already making history. Since those early years, Oprah has appeared on many different news and TV shows. She was nominated for an Academy Award, the highest honor for acting, for her role in the movie The Color Purple. Then she started her own TV show. <laughs> Do you know what it was called? The Oprah Winfrey Show, of course. And it was on television for 20 Five years. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> she interviewed people, famous and completely unheard of, who shared their personal stories of inspiration, triumph, adversity, and hope. She gave away money and prizes. <laughs> she cried, the guests cried, the audience cried. She helped people learn about ideas and new concepts to make their lives better. And she impacted hundreds of millions of people around the world with her show. And they loved her because she loved them and because she taught people how to love themselves. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? Maybe her father? Then she started a book club on TV where she and viewers would read a book and then discuss it the next week on the TV show. She supported authors 
whose books she believed would make a difference in the world. And she encouraged people to discover the love of reading, just like her grandmother had encouraged her all those years ago as a little girl on a little farm in Mississippi. Did I mention Oprah's one of the richest people in the world now? <laughs> yep, that's right. Like castles and mansions and treasure chests, kind of rich. And what does she do with all this money? Well, she gives a lot of it away <laughs> to help people, of course. You can see that Oprah really loves helping people. Oprah donates tons and tons of her money to groups in the United States and all over the world that help people who are homeless and fighting poverty. She donates to schools and education groups. She even donated to the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C., an exhibit for black history. Also, she created and supports an entire school in South Africa called the Leadership Academy for Girls, where she pays for everything, including the students' uniforms, school supplies, even braces for their teeth if they need them. At the school, they teach girls not only the educational tools, but also the emotional tools to be college ready and successful in careers like medicine and architecture and public service. All the students at this school would never otherwise have these opportunities because they come from a society that is rural, very poor, and treats girls as unworthy. Even today, most of these students are also either orphans or have suffered terrible mistreatment, just like Oprah did when she was a young girl in Milwaukee. <laughs> they all call her Mama O. Why does she give so much money away to all these wonderful causes? In her words, quote, because what poverty does is brainwash you to believe that you are not enough. And she would know because she lived through it and came out on the other side. Can one person really change the world? I think Oprah Winfrey shows us that the answer is yes. What an amazing life story. Can you think of a time when you shared or gave something away to someone that needed it more than you? How did that feel on the inside? Thank you for sharing this story time with me and for helping us celebrate Black History Month here at Storytime for Kids. And until next time, be sure to subscribe and happy story time. Bye.